Now, there are different stages that we will be trying to understand about in the process of change. If in this process of change, now that you have understood what is a losing game, what are the things that determine that you are into the losing game track, what are the principles of change required and what are the rules of change and what are the stages now that we are going to learn about. The stages in the process of change, unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, learning the skills are what are given on this page. Once you decide to change, you are undergoing various stages. The first stage of undergoing the change for winning is unconscious incompetence stage. Unconscious, you are not even conscious about what are the difficulties involved. You are not conscious about what are the challenges lie on your track. You are not conscious about what things you will have to go through. You are incompetent because as of yet, you have not learned the rope tricks. As of now, you are not even aware of what is to be done about. So, I will take an example. People do not drive and think driving is easy. There are many people who do not actually know driving. But then, when they sit beside you, sometimes you drive them along, they see you changing the gears, they see your clutch brake accelerator operations, they see your steering wheel operations and then they think that it's very simple. Simply you have to just push in the clutch, change the gears, declutch and just drive with acceleration. Whenever you are not wanting to stop, just break it, change the gears, bring it from higher to lower, use the steering wheel for turning and that's it, that is driving. Now they are unconscious about actual driving, they are not aware of the driving knowledge, they are not, uh, they are not knowing anything about driving, they are incompetent to drive at this point in time. So when these people start actually to drive without having a formal knowledge, then they are going to make it really difficult time for everybody on the street at that point in time. But still, your stage begins there. Whenever you want to learn something totally new, you are unconscious about the challenges, you are not competent enough to drive your mission, but you have to start with that. Then comes the conscious incompetence, where you are still incompetent because you have not learned to drive fully, but you are trying to drive. Now you consciously know that without pushing the clutch, you cannot change the gears. Without de-braking, you cannot push in the accelerator. So technically, you are now much aware than the first stage. So you can do that exactly in the day-to-day -day life also. You know certain rope tricks. You know how to do it. Technically, you are aware about it. But there is no practice. You have not actually handled it yourselves. Now, you drive badly. But you actually know technically what is to do when. Third stage comes, which is a very uh, crucial stage according to me, where a lot of things happen and a lot of things happen in a time, in a given time. So more to learn and too short a time to learn, yet you have to learn, you have to concentrate fully into that, on it and you have to be fully into it. Now that is the stage where you are learning the skills where people take driving lessons, they formally not only know the technical knowledge about driving a car, but they actually start practicing that knowledge. They actually start practicing driving. They practice and practice and practice and they reach some proficiency in a short time. Now, once you are reaching the proficiency level, then you are in a very different league. Now you know technically what is the problem. You know how to handle that problem. 
you have actually learned practically hands on to tackle with that problem you are actually driving your mission you are coming across difficulties somebody is guiding you to how to tackle those difficulties and then slowly you are moving ahead now like this if you go then the next stage will is is not far away where it is conscious competence from conscious incompetence now you are into learning and then you are into conscious competence where people drive they drive well in this stage they drive well their technical knowledge their practical experience is all put into the reality they drive well but have you seen people who are driving well but have recently learned about driving how do how do they drive they hold on to the steering is comparatively tight when they change the gears they sometimes look at the gears am i on second or am i in third now because they are not still used to the firing level that changes to with the gear change so they look and put the gears they look and turn the steering sometimes their leg is not exactly in the proper places for brakes and accelerators sometimes they are not but they are still aware of how to drive and they will not hit people most of the times unconscious competence is the final stage where you are so competent that you are even unconscious about the technicalities of driving even while chatting though legally and socially not a right thing to do but even while speaking on the phone you can drive not advisable of course we are just discussing the competence that is why i am taking this example so you are on the phone you are chatting with the friend you are listening to the music yet you are driving you don't even sometimes know that you have passed certain stages on the journey and you suddenly realize oh i have passed that town already i never knew you are in your own thoughts you are probably into chatting but you drive so competently and you are so unconscious about technicalities of the driving that the gear changes the acceleration the braking the clutching declutching everything happens so automatically that they drive naturally just like that a stage will come when you will be actually making change at to such an extent that you will be naturally driving your mission of life mm-hmm.